Everything's kind of great. Whatever. Hi, Grim. Yes, it is three months now. Oh my. Thank you for the res. Uh, but Grim, thank you for the resub. Oh, jeez, it's really hot. At tier two. Uh, it's very hot in my room right now. I think my dog is still in here. Yeah, my dog is still in here. But she's fine. She's chilling. And uh, things are taking forever to load, so... Uh, computer be dumb. Oh boy. Computer. being slow, but then again I have like many things. Yeah, Doggo chilling. Doggo just chilling. She got stung by a bee today. So that was poor Doggo for that. We're gonna play for a bit. Uh, probably until we get to the certain dungeon, if we get to it. Yeah, she got stung by the bee right over her eye. Which wasn't great. Uh, this is not the right woods and that, but <laughs> which way do I need to go? I need to go to the Valley Kings, alright? So I need to go to the temple. Oh, I remember this. Uh, and I'm apparently streaming in demos again. Damn it! You know, eventually I'll actually use that tab, but that is not today. <laughs> I had it all set up too. Stupid Steely Moment. Okay, where do we need to go? I need to find the door. Here goes. I became right at the door. Okay. There we go. Have you found the maiden yet? No, she's not here. I thought she'd be here though. Damn witch. I'll find her. No choice. Might take longer, but I have to find another way. Hmm. These stairs lead to the central district. If I approach from this direction. Guard station in that direction. I suggest you find another path. Found so Darius. Where have you been? Lady Donna. Surely you realize now that realize why the palace has shut its doors. The day the star fell upon us was the day Queen Sarai vanished. Hiding the truth and issuing false decrees was my idea. Wait, I don't understand. What happened to Sarai? I go wary of this facade. I cannot stand, stand the lies and deception that I've been party to. You're leaving too, aren't you? Somewhere far away? Uh, criticize me all you want. I've committed terrible crimes. The East, uh... Hello! Hi, 
Simon, Kili B, hello. Um, the East Essence Tower has fallen, opening a path to the Central District. You should be able to enter from there. Council, there's still hope. We could still... Do not lie to me, my lady. Lies help no one. My actions are proof of that. It's not a lie, though. I'll get to Saren Garden, no matter what. No, that's Serene Garden. I can't read! <laughs> you know... Change. This way. Monica, here goes. I kind of haven't played this for a while. So... Or will please open the way to the central district. Enter the central district. I'm currently in the room, so that's why I sound very different. I kind of stream in two different locations. Either my office or in the bedroom. Phew, I've made it to the central district. The bridge leading west out of the capital is destroyed, so I need to go around. I need to go to the south and head for the mountain gate. Think you're going, your eminence? You run in from your guilty conscience? Is that it? I remember I used to see you gallivanting around town without a care in the world, playing with children, wandering around the market. You treated your position like a joke. That's why this calamity happened. That's right. You invited the star's wrath. You're no maiden to us, witch. Give me, give me back my daughter. Give me back me. You murderer! Everyone, please, just calm down. I... I didn't... So, you had nothing to do with this? Rastel? Then please, tell me why this happened, Your Eminence. Why didn't you protect Eternia? Why didn't you protect your people? Rastel... They found my father's body. Near the crater, where the falling star landed. Dream? I... I didn't know. I don't have an answer for you, Rastel. But as your maiden, and as a friend to all who have fallen and to those who still live, I want to know why this happened more than anyone. I want to know why so many people had to die. I want to know how I can still save Eternia, still save my people. Your Eminence. All hope is not lost. I am Donna Eclusia, Maiden of the Great Tree, protector and leader of the people of Eternia. I never have and never will forsake my solemn duty. I will learn the truth of what happened here, no matter what. Now stand aside! <sighs> you really expect us to believe a word coming out of your mouth? Yeah! Get her! I understand why you are angry. But... With her? She's the reason your father's dead! There are things I'll never be able to tell my father now. But I know with all my heart that he died upholding his sworn duty. So I will honor my father's memory 
by living my life as he lived his. I will keep my promise and protect the maiden at all costs. You, traitor! Get him! We must hurry. I don't know how long I can hold them off. But... Don't worry about me. Just let me keep my promise to you. I promise I will find out why this happened and come back. I know you will. You face Rastel, son of Chief Gardran! And I will not allow any of you to pass! The maiden's getting away! Out of the way, you! Bonafide witch hunt. Safe, Rastel. So many. At this rate, we won't last long. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's a sight. Like, cause it it's something that is entirely possible to happen, and it's not impossible. Like we've had it history happen in history as well. And it's, it's a sight. Because we know that Donna did nothing. She's been trying everything to prevent this from happening. And she's basically getting attacked because they're just blaming her uh, for just going around and doing stuff. Where this entire time she was helping the prosperity of Eternia, but now that Calamity has happened... Um, they've all turned against her. It kind of just, it's like, it just hurts. <laughs> um, at this rate, we won't last long. My lady! Easy to blame someone that, uh, they can turn against. Yeah, for sure. Earth the capital is in trouble. I'm glad to see you're safe, at least. At last. No, that was said least. Uh, yes, I'm unharmed. But I must hurry to Serene Garden, uh, Serene Garden at once. Yes, it says Serene. I'm prepared to help. But I must first, uh, but first I must report what's happening. It was reported the Great Tree was growing with the golden light during the star's assault. At the time, we thought it, uh, thought that light was a great tree displaying negative reaction to the falling stars. But now we know uh, that the Earth's essence surged abnormally before a, sing a single star fell. And at the center of this essence surge was the great tree of origins. It, yes. It would appear that the Great Tree of Origin somehow caused the star stars to fall to Earth. Based on your descriptions of the mural, mural you saw at the Valley of Kings, it can only mean the Great Tree of Origins is the cause of those terrible cataclysms. The scene depicted on the mural must be true. Perhaps the people are right to lay the blame on me for this disaster. Your eminence. I, I can't believe it. How could this happen? The sole significance of the temple's existence is now lost forever. What are we going to do now, your eminence? Well... It won't be long before the people learn the truth. They will lose faith in the great tree and the kingdom will plummet into chaos. Even more than it already is. And that's why... That's why we must stay the course and help everyone suffering from these cataclysms. Even so, people may not welcome our help as warmly as they would before your eminence. We have an notorious road ahead of us. And yet, I've never been more proud of you. Huh? Your rambunctious nature vexed me to no end on many occasions. But if it was all leading to this moment, then all is forgiven. 
I suppose I chose wisely when I nominated you to become the maiden. We accept our fate. As you said, we must save our people, your eminence. But even if our fate wither, wavers, our duty never will. Y yes. Do you want to help the people? Please, tell us what to do. Yes, let us help you. I kind of messed up some verses. Like you, or... <laughs> I can't say that, everyone. <laughs> Ernata? Ernate. That's it. Now, now then. I believe you're planning to go to Seren, uh, Serene Garden, were you not? Do be careful. You've, you've been an extraordinary maiden. I believe in you. I know you'll come back to us. Yes, I will. Please, be safe, everyone. Yes! I actually have things to talk about. I went. I so I went to the hairdressers yesterday. For everyone's sake, I need to hurry. Uh, is there? I don't know. Um, I went to the hairdresser on uh yesterday, and um, I had a light trim to oh, get rid of dead ends. I'll do what I can. See something. Okay. Oh God, please take care of him. Um. And we tried to dye my. Uh, yeah, light trim of the ends, and I also had um. Come on. Um, I also had uh, frick. Uh, I also tried to dye half of my hair a dark blue color. But because my hair is so dark, and we didn't actually lighten it beforehand, it didn't come out well, which I'm kind of sad. But like, I understood that was going to happen because my hair takes much more maintenance than my mother's hair. Um, so, like that was expected. Um. Forbidden Valley of Kings is up ahead. Please, let me make it in time. So, it has a light blue tint to it, like a darker tint, I can see it, but like, what what can I do? This kind of happens. Oh, shoot. I gotta defeat another story. This is an ancient story. One of the oldest still living in, on hallowed grounds is near death. Perhaps that's why it no longer recognizes me. Sorry, I can't allow you to harm the people or the city. Bye, Pancake! At least let me end your suffering and bring you peace. Ow. Sure, but things do have to change as times change. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll grieve your loss, I promise. 
I must go to Stream Garden. This can't be the end. I won't let this be the end. We did it! And there goes another dungeon. Okay. Almost at the bottom. Close. There's like one more time. The vision just now. I need to do whatever I can. It's nice. I'll watch you. Their own opinion towards games, truth be told. Uh, and I'm not gonna force my opinions on others, and I really don't want other people to force their opinions on me. Yeah, well, the older series of the title had a totally different combat sense, so. Applying water to the capital. What happened? This is a piece of the falling star. Its impact, its impact must have dammed the river. The plants are st starting to die. I can't just ignore this. star is made of, it's incredibly dense. This must be why the current has completely stopped. But if I can move it out of the way, the river should flow again. Alright. Bye, bye, pancake. I think I can move it with my essence. Here goes nothing. But with the change in the weather, I don't know how long that will take. That will be. I must do whatever I can. I must go soon. I need to trust everyone and keep moving. Yes! Great job! I'm gonna finish up with the main part of the air change. And then come back. You rescued me. Donna and Clusia, maiden of the great tree. Uh, my eyes are sore. Well, not really sore, they're just sting. I don't know why. Uh, frick. Who are you? How do you know my name? Uh, uh, I didn't even. I, I fell. I woke up, but like, 
Well, technically I woke up at 9, but then I went back to sleep and woke up at 11. It's not like I've been up for incredibly crazy long time, but still. Um, who are you? Do you know my name? Uh, I'm sorry to inform you. My name is Selene. Uh, Spirit of uh, Covenants. I was birthed in this sealed land. Wait, did this say sealed or sacred? I think it said sealed. Due to the land's proximity, this land's proximity to Selene Garden, essence disturbances are more frequent here. Ever since my birth, I've been, I have been observing the history of attorney. You must know the true purpose of Serene Garden. Please tell me, what must I do? I'm sorry, I don't know the answer to that. All I can do for you is to form this covenant with you. Please accept this power. Uh, Dominus possesses the power of Selene Spirit of Covenants. Luminous style has been enhanced. Uh, dark path lies ahead of you, one of pain and misery. Someone is very concerned for you, too. Please allow a spirit to grant you our protections. I'm not sure I understand, but... Do you pity me, do you pity me Selene? Thank you, but you don't need to worry about me. I have people supporting me. They're the reason I keep going. Donna. Mm. I'm glad you're exactly who I hoped you to be. It's not every day that a spirit finds itself rescued by a mortal. I understand. I commit everything to you. Please do not lose. Don't lose. I mean, I won't. <clears throat> we did it! Ah, uh, did At some point I'll show off the older wise games that uh, Pancake was talking about, but I don't have the same opinions. There's good about the old style and there's good about the new style. You also have to pay attention to the time of generations too and stuff like that. I'm very easy. Like, I. I can, as long as the story's good, I'll enjoy it. I don't care about how, like, as long as the game is playable, as long as the game is playable, I will enjoy it. Like, even if there's weird ass freaking glitches that I can laugh about, it's all good. But like, I won't complain about certain mechanics most of the time. There's only certain ones where I will complain, but that's because they weren't implemented well. Um, this place is... But I will not talk about that anymore. I will just say enjoy. Um, it is hot. <laughs> but I want blankets. Uh, the dilemma. Um, beautiful. This must be Syrian Garden. Actually, with my. Um, while I was getting my hair done, because it took about an hour, I will also talk about my meal tonight, too. Uh, because I could taste uh, nothing. Um, I was talking with my- sorry, I really shouldn't talk about this while we're in the middle of a cutscene. This place was in ru- was in ruin. Was a ruin in adult era. I cannot read! Okay. This instruction. I should do this after. In every era exists Syrian Garden, into which the collective psyches of speci species does flow, providing herein nourishment to this tree. Stored within the collective psyche of species, the very will to live. The collective psyches of species across eras are amassed as such, producing power beyond reckoning for the transcendent one. Thus, when the tree of Psyches reaches maturity, disrupt, disrupting providence and natural order, the days of reaping shall come to an end. If this is Syrian Garden, then that flow must be the Psyches of the species. Of species. This tree looks really big. 
If it grows, it'll have enough power. But at this rate. So, you came here after all. Saren Garden. I've not seen this place in ages. As you have come here, I can only surmise that you are not ready to join us yet. Have you been here before? Of course. I am the architect of this garden. What? Take notice. The water bridges represent each species of a given era. The weak flow from that water bridge is the collective psyche of the Eternians. It was probably a little stronger before a lot of people were murdered by meteors. Far stronger psyches are required to disrupt the provenance of the Lacrimosa. Well, it still probably wouldn't have been strong enough to disrupt the Black Mosa, to be honest. Look upon the Tree of Psyches. See how young it is. The collective psyches of species past are not sufficient to spur its growth. Was it not made clear to you in your Scarlet Vision? You have no means by which to save your doomed species. You have shown remarkable fortitude in the face of this adversity. That is why I think you understand. The Lacrimosa cannot be stopped. Thanks, Arena. That must have popped up. Oh, yeah. I see. But... This garden was my last... Hi. <laughs> hmm. We shall take our leave of you, Donna. Should you change your mind, please seek an audience with us. We will not turn you away. After all, you are a fellow warden of evolution. <laughs> It's not over yet. I'm sure he will feel the same as I do. The time will come for this place. Look at the snow. I tried to call out to him one last time, hoping there could still be a chance. But it was no use. You. How long will you continue this folly? The Cataclysms have wiped out all Eternians. Even your best friend, Olga, is gone. Olga. She gathered the remaining people at the palace and tried to lead them until the end. It was heroic of her. I see. Far be it from me to ask you this, but... Why not allow yourself to feel a measure of peace? Why are you still doing this? Because... Because there are still people I can save. What do you mean? The Eternians are no more. Not them. Adol and his allies defying the lacrimosa in the distant future and the wardens of evolution enthralled by its curse 
I can still save them both. So please, let me help you, Sarai. Yes. It's a foolish notion to think that we could ever be freed from this curse. Do you even understand what you're saying? I see the way you wardens look at me. I think I remind you all of the people you used to be. Oh. You wouldn't. Why? Here. Hmm. Did she succumb to the weight of her burden and took, take her own life? She should already know that, the, that she is immortal. But an impulsive put was Jester. No, it wasn't. What? What, what is she doing? This was her intention. Once she succumbs to her despair, she will have no choice but to join our fold. Thus, she is refording, refusing to become a warden in the first place by sealing herself away. Ah. Really now? She will most likely awaken when the next Lacrimosa comes to pass. And she will defy us then too. What? Is she mad? She is bolder than her co continence would suggest, contours. But how will she find the next warden if she's slumbering here? So long as the great tea continues the cycle of evolution, her time will come eventually. How curious. Does that ex insignificant child really believe she is free to choose and defy the lacrimosa? Somehow, she was able to communicate with the next species. In hindsight, such a power had, has never been permitted before. Are you suggesting she was privy to knowledge that we are not? At this time, I cannot say anything. Either way, she still has chosen for herself an endless uphill path of rebellion. I hardly expect anything to change before the almighty Lacrimosa. Hmm. Our duty to bear witness to events as they unfold. Our duty is to bear witness to events as they unfold. All we can do is watch over her as the next species take root. more intense than I expected. I don't remember. <laughs> yes, it was. I can't believe what you endured. Are you okay? I'm fine, Adel. I remember everything now. I've been waiting for Adel. Waiting for the next species so it can bring hope to everyone. Anna. That explains why you're not with the other wardens. Jeez, my brain feels close to bursting. How could you seal yourself up like that? I want to turn off that extension, which I think I'll have to uninstall and reinstall. Uh, 
I just couldn't think of anything else to do at that moment. But we know what to do now. I really want to figure out how to... Must go to Searing Garden. That's right. It's the only way to stop the Lacrimosa. Yes, that's our best bet. I'm not even trying. <laughs> it remains where it remains were sealed away by the royal family. Even as a maiden, it took a lot of effort for me to learn of its existence by gathering the collective psyches of its of our, of species. They're very well to live. The garden cultivates the power by which the providence nature can be defined. <laughs> I really don't know what that means. Fuck, that was a bug in the corner of my eye. It looked ginormous. God damn it. <laughs> Why? Uh, it's probably because the dog. <sighs> <laughs> I really don't know what that means, but it sounds really cool. I'm more surprised that it was built by one of the wardens. Yes, we should make our way to the Valley of Kings and see see this garden ourselves. I planted a pear tree sapling there, so the garden should be restored in this era. If the tree of Psyches has grown enough. Is it... Isn't that one warden we met there, your friend, Nana? You're talking about Sarai. I was surprised by that, too. Why is one of the wardens the former queen of Eternia? There's probably more than we know at the moment. At all. We must hurry to Serene Garden. Yes. Serene Garden is in the Valley of Kings, at the bottom of steps of the tomb. That's right. I'll explain more once we get there. All right, let's go. We're going back. Uh, we can now warp anywhere. Yeah. We couldn't warp before, if you remember. I am going to finish the last thing in the era that I haven't done. Um, I didn't do it because, uh, well, if you go right away, before you finish the sequence, you have to run all the way back into this area to get to where you want. Sanctuary Crypt. There's also still the bug. Bug, go away. You're annoying me. More than the hair that's getting everywhere. Run. Wait, I'm not losing this. There we go. Luminous is much faster. And this next one, I'm pretty sure, is mainly luminous. And then the last, next one, following one is... Uh, oh wait, isn't this one fire? Yeah. I know, I remember this dungeon uh, a lot well. A lot well, yes, that totally makes sense. I can totally speak proper English. I speak English very, 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 what? <laughs> very, very good. Oh yeah, I can actually talk about like, uh, the thing with my hairdresser. So I haven't been to the hairdresser for, since like, a couple months, almost a year. Um, like, it was, during like a, right before the second lockdown in Canada, so that's about a year at this point. Um, so there was a lot to talk about, and I started talking about book. You need to be careful. Um. Ow. Um. So. Ow. 
Um, I started talking about book stuff, of course, you know, and all that, which made like the hours that I was there go by really fast. I didn't even need to read that long. I brought like two books because I was expecting to finish at least one of my books. I didn't even open a single book. And I started reading something on my phone at the very end of waiting for my hair to dry after having it dye. <laughs> but yeah, so um, my hair, to do anything with it, it takes so long um, to deal with it. Oh god, uh, I can't go over there yet. Um, it, gets, it takes so long to do anything, like, it takes a couple hours, like three hours minimum. To deal with my hair, I'm literally just running past everything. Uh, I went the wrong way because I want all the items. Everything in here hits like a truck. Oh god, that was fire! I looked away for a second. <laughs> Pencil laser, there we go. when I was going in, when I saw the time. I don't need to kill a lot of things. A treasure chest. See something. Ouch! Run through lava. Um, there's a door. Oh yeah, I'm actually going the right way. honestly don't need to kill anything, and there's not much reason for it, because I'm high enough level to beat everything. Including the final bosses in this era. This is gonna be fun. Because this is gonna get crowded. Lucky is strong. Lucky is strong. 
Oh, oh. Uh, I've been playing, uh, FF7R. Um, yesterday. Hi, human! I was playing, um, I was at chapter 3 when I started yesterday, and I got all the way to chapter, um, I got all the way to chapter, uh, 9. <laughs> I was like, chapter 3, and now chapter 9. Where's the rest of you? Okay, they're not gonna get up. So we're good. Do I want to, I think, e. Yeah, I'm good at JRPGs if you haven't been able to, if you haven't realized. I'm, I'm not the best, but I'm really good at solving, doing them. <laughs> oh, this is another one with a shield. I have to pay attention to... It's gonna use all the things for all three. I should probably lock on. I am, uh, god. Wait, it's triangle. I was trying to do another game system. Shit. <laughs> Alone. 
shit. Astro, thank you for uh res for the resub for your third month. I don't I still don't know what to say. <laughs> and thank you for the mayo. Oh good, I did I did feed it. I can't speak. It is hot. Mayo. I had mayo. Oh yeah, I never talked about my meal. I'll talk about that in a second. Let me take a drink. We've almost reached the monolith. I had curry. I had um lamb burgers, rosemary garlic ram burgers. They weren't that great to be honest. Um with mayo, cheddar cheese, uh mustard, ketchup, lettuce and pickles. Um I'll be full honest. Uh it was very needed. Yeah. Um, I'll say that, uh, the lamb patties were, like, I didn't significantly enjoyed them. They were fine. Um, but you could taste Finally, the rosemary a little too much. Do I have to read? Probably. So I probably shouldn't put on a scroll on. Because I can't read. Yep. Uh, during the construction of the villa... An ancient ruin was unearthed. This is... I never learned how to read. <laughs> <laughs> While exploring this ruin, researchers found old records in the area that named the Wall of Truth in the garden. When these records were decoded, a trail of truth was revealed. The great tree of origins, giver of essence, and the harbinger... Uh... The Great Tree of Origins, give, giver of essence, was the harbinger of the world's doom. The revelation undermined all that Eternia had done to achieve its prosperity. Upon notifying the king, he ordered the ruin to be concealed from the public. Unfortunately, an irate nobleman also learned the truth and took matters into his own hands. The great tree will bring about a terrible calamity that threatens all Eternia. Gathering his most loyal retainers, the nobleman set forth to burn the great tree to cinders. Flaming arrows were loosed upon the great tree. And the heavens cried out, and the men who loosed these arrows were swiftly turned to dust. The cataclysm had begun. Bolts of roaring lightning carved terrible scars into the land, tearing the earth asunder. The Eternians believed themselves above reproach, that they faced no threats due to their essence. Within their new cat capital, the cataclysm worked the citizenry into a panic. Yet amidst the horror, there was a group of people who roamed the earth unbaked. Uranus ventured across the land, uh, across blasted lands, saving many, until he finally arrived at the roots of the great tree. Calm your heart, for the time of tribulation is when the heart is tested most. With these words, Uranus led all who would hear them in, in prayer. As they prayed, the in, uh, in their terrestrial, uh, inencroachable march of time continued. Only when they heard the sound of bird songs did the people notice the wind gentle touch and the soothing kiss of the sun's light. The cataclysm has ended, had ended, leaving behind a vast, deep scar in the southern lands. If the Valley of Kings is where they tried to build the villa, then the Wall of Truth must be the mural in the depths of the tomb. In the garden. It must be Saren Garden. I'm surprised to find information about Saren Garden in the sanctuary. In olden times, people knew that the great...
tree was the cause of disasters. And those who tried to fight back against the great tree were... Even so, I can't give up. I'm not a good teacher. <laughs> as long as I'm still alive, Eternia has not fallen. And neither has its people. Isn't that right, everyone? There's one more. A large engraving is uh, contained in the floor. It looks like an engraving on the uh, on the door. What does it mean? I don't see a door leading further on, and I believe this is the final floor. This is a dead end. I have no choice but to turn back for now. We have a lot of raids to do because I just realized I don't know if I'm high enough uh, rapport yet. Here so we got a lot of raids to do. <laughs> After we deal with this. Cheesy one. Bye, Slug! Mmm. It is very hot in my room. I also have a doggo, which is probably kind of mean to the doggo that they're letting them in the hot room. Uh, where? Ah, wine needed. That's right, I can finally get this. Slug! Get the wine! Get the thing for the wine. Uh, rented tree sap. There's also going to be a person that we're going to grab. That, that, Switch. the frick. <laughs> I know 100% what you're talking about. I'm not dumb. Serena. It's been so long, slug. <laughs> Well, Cheesy will be starting about an hour. I might take a break for an hour? I don't know. Because we're almost at the certain point. Oh, it has. It's just, it has, don't lie. <laughs> I want cake. How beautiful. Hmm. This place is rather calm. As soon as we done, as soon as we done nine, eight, we can finish nine, and then we're gonna do memories for the PS4, um, and then we have other games that I'm gonna play. Uh, like a horror game at some point. Sun Bully? Yes, we're going to be making wine. Um, we collected tree sap for it. What's wrong? I wasn't reading what anything said. Oh, it's just... Even though we've been able to solve all these problems, these small, immediate problems, None of that will actually matter if we fail to stop the Lacamosa. <laughs> I'm tired at 1 a.m. That's good. Waddles isn't here, so I bully Pop Pop. <laughs> well, you do have school in like, um, six, nope, uh, eight, no, five days. First day? Um, ah. True. We may only be able to affect the change on a small scale. God damn it! Damn it! I hiccup and it's hot. Four days. Four days. Oh yeah, that's right. Your day ahead. Um, true. We may only be able to affect change on a small scale, but even small changes can have drastic effects on the course of history. I won't go to sleep because I'm in a chair. Well, yeah. Um, isn't that why you were making your changes, Donna? The same goes for us. We're doing all we can because we have not given up. You're right. I'm sorry. I just got a little discouraged. I made it this far with all of you, so I don't think my actions were all in vain. As long as you're with me, I can... We'll face what awaits no matter what. Yeah! I am very hot 
And because I'm sweating, it's getting sticky. I am not pleased. Get up. There we go. Oh yeah, I just I forgot. That's one of the most ancient species of Saurian. This area seems slightly different from the others. A sanctuary hidden deep inside a forbidden area. You got your timetable? Is it good or is it uh, horrifying? Oh god. I hate these things. They spew fire. I fire bad. <laughs> Give. Go away! Go away! Fire bad! It wants to burn me! Look at this! Look at the tree! I got ways to. Uh, but I don't like what my subject I press. Hi, Chris! Hello! Hello from Canada! Look! I still say these trees look like frickin' dragons. Don't- Like, it looks like a dragon! Like, the head looks like a dragon. I don't know if I said that, but it looks like a dragon. I will not end that. Oh god. Here's a person. Is it possible? Were you passengers aboard the Lombardia? Are you nor but the nobility by chance? It's been a while, Griselda. Likewise, Adolf person. I'm impressed you still remember me. Those of you who are meeting me for the first the first time, my name is Griselda. I'm the gr governor Governor Gelder God damn it! I'm the Governor General of Salsetta. I'm in Anderson City for the weekend. So listen to Grim. <laughs> and you and no and no. I'm surprised that you and I were aboard the same ship. The Governor General of Salsetta. Why does he look so familiar? The Governor General of Salsetta is known to be a shrewd and decisive leader. For some reason I never imagined them to be a woman. Governor General? What's that? I think it means she's some kind of big shot in the Roman Empire. He's very beautiful. You gonna take a family English class? <laughs> Allow me the courtesy of reintroducing myself. My name is Griselda. I can tell and say her name. Don't ask why. On this island, my title means nothing. She's very humble. Please treat me as you would any other castaway. Um, forgive me for my impotence, but have you met before? Mm. Oh. You bear a striking resemblance to a princess I met at the Imperial Capital. Uh, uh, prince? Princess? Hmm. <laughs> what an amusing, amusing anecdote. Why would a princess came to be the Governor General of Salsetta and live the life of a castaway on this island? You'd sooner see that gold, seen a golden pricker on that and than something that outlandish. I have seen a golden pricker. <laughs> uh, question and linguist. No one lingus. S lingus. Ingus. I don't want to speak to English. I mean, drag run in against my will, Astro. Will you save me? I have been to NYC before. When you agree, Adol. <laughs> Adol is very quick. Uh, I see. I'm sorry for my presumption, then. <laughs> Must have mistaken her for something else, someone else, I guess. Hmm. What's the Governor General of Sosetta doing in Lombardia? On the yes. Lombardia? Oh god, you guys are going nuts. Next spring, Ma. 
That's me next spring. Sorry, you're on your own. I know what. <laughs> the Pablo Angles. I was returning from completing a routine inspection. I never thought I would find myself here cast adrift on the island of Seren. I must say I'm surprised to find the ruins of a lost civilization on this island. After meeting Adel, I find myself more frequently indulging my curiosities. I've been on my fair share of adventures over the last few ye three years, you see. Wow. I'm glad you haven't been harmed while you were out there, out here alone. Well, I'm kind of skilled enough with a sword that I'm capable of defending myself. Anyways, you seem to have a good grasp of the situation on this island. Would you mind briefing me? I explained to Griselda everything that had happened, then gave her a crystal ring with which to warp. Je ne parle pas, pas Francis. Oh my god. <laughs> no have the French. Man, you all live far away from the west coast. Uh, I definitely live far away from the west coast considering the fact that I'm, I'm living in Ontario. East coast, west coast? I live far away. <laughs> yes, you do live far away, human. <laughs> Ayo. Oh, Ayo. East coast. East coast, best coast. Oh, God. I see. The situation sounds more dire than I could have imagined. I imagine having more allies would be an asset to you during the future beast raids. I will join you at Castaway Village. <laughs> Oh, I oh, all I know is fire and heat. Yeah, no, all I know is cold and winter weather, and also just melting. Still, dragon. That's my final statement. We are, we're, I'll be leaving now. I don't know why I did it the hard way. All I know is I bipolar weather. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I think. Speak to Tanatos? Where the frick is Tanatos? Thanatos. Why did I say Tanatos again? God damn it, I thought I broke that habit last time. Use a stupid sap. Bright summy plus five minute later hell and mosquitoes. Till snow one day and the next it's 90. Oh god. Adel, don't tell me you actually found it. A rented tree step. Oh thank you. Now we can uh, have a proper ceremonial sip launching. Uh, all right, I'll see what I need. I just need to get everything ready. I don't go and tell the elders, would you? God damn it, I still can't. Mungies. The mungies. Munginess. Munginess is the worst. Yes, that's true. I never get snow. I get snow a lot. I really hope it's going to be a super white and cold Christmas this year. I'm sorry for everyone else that doesn't like the snow, but like, do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share the snow. <laughs> and so the ceremony of sip launching was held at Castaway Village. I should keep my food away from the table. It hasn't snowed where I lived in 20 years. -ish. Um, it hasn't had a nice snow for a while in my area. I wanted nice, powerful snow where uh, I have mountains of snow. I'm gonna go to the mountains, yeah. Uh, Ship some snow to the UK. I don't think the snow will still be snow by the time it gets to you. It, it's. And so a ceremony sip launching was held at Castaway Village. Everyone was excited to participate. The launching went out off without a hitch. As much as I really want cake, I can easily go get cake without a hitch. Share shall be snow. Oh, they're definitely talking. Matthew led the entire ship launching, and the ship was officially named Chester, uh, Christian, Kristen. I can't speak. I, t I promise you, my first language is English. 
I just don't speak the English well. I have a speech impediment. But then again, it only really impacts, like, majorly SH words. Chris and Lombardia too. Tuck. They're just christening a ship. Uh, take, take it. I don't want it anymore. Sam, it's flooded here recently. I like all cold weather. And I don't enjoy the heat. Luckily, we don't get too many floods here. Yeah, see, we don't get a lot of floods here. The last flood, um, was it in Huntsville? I think it washed out a bridge. But it wasn't terrible. Like, we didn't lose any houses. Well, actually, there was some houses that were literally an island for about a month. If I remember correctly. But aside from that, uh, I live right on several rivers and right... I live right off of Lake Serena. I surprisingly have never been flood. Well, no, that's a lie. We've had a basement flood. Oh, I have a story for you. Thinking of floods. <laughs> Give me a moment. While pouring the fermented sap on the sips hall, the launching was completed. Complete. I almost said completed. Oh, yeah, that sucked. I can count how many days on my hand. God, that that really sucks. Ship was launched. Wow! Wait, that's a, that's too high pitch. Ship finally. This isn't a dream, is it? We're really gonna leave soon. Yes, we gotta tough this out a little while longer. I feel like I can work even harder now. I'm here. This whole thing ha has me feeling reinvigorated. Uh, the construction people just broke other water lines, so a road was flooded. Oh, that sucks. I wish I had some of the rain. For this year alone. Oh god, that really sucks that you only have rain. Um, yeah, we're almost out of here. Let's keep our heads high, everyone. Yeah! I do, do that right, but I can't do multiple voices at once. I have, a wild, I have wild bunnies near me, though. Um, I guess? I can time out mods, I just have to remod them. Wow, that went really well. We're finally here. So technically, not even mods are slave. Potato cannons. I have fired a potato cannon, but we're not allowed to do. Uh, I actually had a. This is a part of the story. Um, I have fired a. I had a project where I had to launch a potato. You couldn't use gas though. Um, I almost got killed by my own project, and it was a group project, and I had to do it all alone. Not by choice, mind you. I had to do it alone though. Because no one wanted me on the team. So, like, yeah. I learned how to make potato cannons from Ruby Thermos Tree. Yeah, that was a big oof. I had to do an entire project by myself. Um, I think I still got higher marks than most of the class. And I also almost got killed by my project. And I had to be able to take it. I'm. It wasn't the teacher's fault. The teacher was not at fault at all. I will tell you this. It was just... Um... Yeah. I had one per- like I- yeah. Um, that week? I got released in a session before bath. Nice. Um, that week where I almost got killed by my own project was the worst week for my entire family. And we've had some bad weeks where we literally had like three people die. Um, actually no, that's like prob probably the week I'm thinking of is like the second worst week, but for my immediate family, like, immediate family, it was the worst week. Um, I had, we had a flood in the basement, uh, because our pump, our sump pump died. We live, I live near the water, so we need a sump pump in the ground to drain the water. Um, the pump died, and we didn't know, so it completely flooded the basement with, like, uh, a good meter of water or more. Uh, so it was basically up to my kneecaps actually higher than a meter. I'm very tall. But it was up to my kneecaps. Um, 
then the next day, I think that was the day for my assignments, where, yes, it was my assignments, um, where I had to launch a potato, I had to set it up all by myself, I was getting frustrated, all that, very upset because I had to, I was doing it all alone. Like, my dad helped me build it, but still I had to set it up all by myself, and I had to take it apart all by myself, because I had to take this to school on the bus, because I couldn't drive at the time. Um, and one of the metal poles, because it had to be taken apart completely, one of the metal poles during one of the launches of the potato literally flew out of the socket. I saw it fly out. I jumped back. It, like, jumped back, and the pole landed right where I was. Um, so I would have either got seriously injured or died. And then the next day, my brother got a serious contest. No, or was that Monday? No, what Monday? Monday, my brother got a serious contestant as well where we had to go to the hospital for that, and I left as well. And then something happened Wednesday. It wasn't as bad as everything else, but it was still significantly bad. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, you gotta carry out the captain's final wish. We got really distracted. <laughs> Thank you very much for all your help, Adol. I finally fulfilled my duty as a member of the Barbardia's crew. I'm sure it won't be large right. now. Please keep watching over us, Captain. I would say your task is finished when you get them all back to dry land, back to the mainland. Oh, we always do. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Great job. We always do get sidetracked. The amount of time we've gotten sidetracked during the middle of a cutscene is not small anymore. It's gotten very large. Uh, come here. Come here, bottle of water, because I'm thirsty and too lazy to actually sit up. I grabbed it with my feet, by the way. I have very flexible toes. I got a five in my science. Um, is that a good thing? Uh, there's no such thing as assessments like that. Um, in, in, uh, in, in my school. Yeah, is it out of five? <laughs> or out of a different number? Dragon tree treasure. Yay! Those are actually like the highest. Oh, 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 I talk to Kathy now. Hey, Adol, can I, uh... Can I bend your ear for a second? I've never heard that saying before. The ship is almost complete, but it's missing one last finishing touch. Five the highest? Yeah, like... <laughs> we want to know how good that five is. Is There's it max? I want to ask you. I gotta shut up. The captain entrusted you with his last wish to help the passengers escape this island. May I take on his last wish too? That's not up for me to decide. <laughs> no. The captain chose you, Adol. You knew you were the right person. That's why I want you to hear me out. I was born and raised in a prominent port town. I was a shy kid, and a target for bullets. I spent all my time at the port, watching the ships. It was Captain Barbaros himself who asked me to join the crew of the Lombardia. He was my idol. The man I aspired to be someday. Things will play out like this. The primordial and beast attacks are getting worse every day. To be honest, I'm not really sure what's going to happen to the village. But I feel like if I'm honoring the captain's last wish, I can fight my way through whatever lies ahead. By escaping this island, I'll have earned the right to call myself a true member of the Lombardia's crew. That's why I'm asking you, Adam. So please. Let me join you in taking on his last wish. Hold on. Now I can speak. Okay, good thing you passed. Um, I could talk about how I did in class, but I'll hold that off. Um, I'm fine with math. Calculus sucks, uh, uni calculus sucks ass, especially when your teacher doesn't teach it right. Um... 
where something is. Holy cow, as I struggled with was history. I can tell you where something is or who did what for my life. <laughs> also, five is the highest one you could could uh, got on that test. That's not bad. Um, history, I can do. I don't. I'm not like a big history buff or anything. I love playing Clash, though. But I think that's not the first time I mentioned that. Um, if you want, I can talk about like um, my school experience, which I guess. Could be interesting, could not. You never know. I've I've done a lot. I had interesting grades. I'm a history major. Yeah, I'm not a history major. I'm a science major. Uh, I, I'm a I'm a biology. I was a. I think I've mentioned this before. I'll say it again. Uh, if it has, I know I've definitely mentioned it in chat. In cheesy chat. Hold my nose. Um. Uh, I was a biology and chemistry double honors major uh, going for a bachelor's uh, forever and ever um, calculus 2 for university can suck ass <laughs> slug no yes yeah, slug no okay uh, I bet the captain's smiling down on you are you saying I can join you yeah, true. Thank Depending on whose expense, never forget this. Whose perspective will depend on when it starts. First thing I'm gonna do is go back home, and then I'm gonna get my own ship. I've always wanted to be the stalwart captain of a large crew, just like Captain Barbaros. I look forward to boarding your ship someday. <laughs> of course. Anytime. Rest in peace. The U.S. was the latest, if I remember correctly, out of most of the people of the Allies. U.K. was one of the sooner ones. I don't know the dates too well, though. Yeah, Pearl Harbor was the moment they actually officially uh, decided to take place in the war. war. Um... You, I think the UK, this is 100% guessing because I played like this one game, which I never beat, but I really enjoyed. Um, I think they were like near the start. Um, it was in the 30s. It was like, I don't think it was 35. They were very, they were very soon on it. I don't think it was 35, maybe, I think it was between 35 and 39, is my guess. Yeah, that's my guess. It, I think it's the late 30s, but I can't remember the exact date. Because I remember, I played a game, um, Blazing Angels, uh, a Blazing Angels game. I played that a lot. I don't know why I remembered it. Yeah, I think it was around, like, around then. Um, from what I learned... Yeah, okay, so it was 39. I knew, I was like, I, it has, it can't be 40s, but I know it's in the late 30s, yeah. So I was right. I, I did think right. But I'm not 100% right, because I couldn't remember the exact date. I think Canada was kind of in the same time, hence the reason that we know the date, too. Because, uh, most of the time whenever Britain goes to war, Canada usually got involved back then. Um, not as so much now. Canada will sometimes do things that the U... Well, no. Canada will do things the UK doesn't get involved in all the time. But most of the time when Britain gets involved, Canada gets involved. Because... <laughs> but yeah. I think that's also the time Canada did it. I never got the chance to learn about Dunkirk. I did learn about G Dunkirk. It was interesting. Uh, rest in peace. Where we go, please. I like how we suddenly talked about history. <laughs> and... I think the captain's encouraging you. <sighs> yeah, we did get distracted again. <laughs> Thank you, Captain. I'll make you proud. <sighs> Th 
there's many shells. Um, where's Griselda's? Well, Franz is just asking for his lady, uh, Griselda. Uh, I wish Leo to find someone to settle down with someday. Oh my god, I really wish that I played Memories before this. Because you'll know who Leo is, but you'll appreciate this. You'll appreciate this when we actually play Memories. Because <laughs> it's already noted that Griselda, you meet, uh, Celsetta. Celsetta is the place... This is now the history, now a history channel, oh my god. But Celsetta is the, the location of Memories. Uh, that's the that's the nation that we're kind of exploring in memories. And I used to call it Keltia because I like the sound of it, but Celsetta is not bad either. Anyways, you'll you'll appreciate that if you remember it. You'll appreciate it later. You'll know who Leo is by then. I am still missing fruits and I don't know where the frick they are. They're supposed to be cabbage and one other. I can't remember what the other one is, but it's not like I really need it. I already have max food and I rarely get hurt. I honestly could have gone Inferno because <laughs> I rarely need to use potions. Well, it could become a channel where I just talk about other things. Um, apparently I don't have any seeds. Um, look at all the Picards. Um, I could talk about the plane crash stuff. I like, um, oh, we can do that now, can't we? We have to do a few things. We gotta do one, um, History, history, yes, history. We gotta go here. We're gonna fight a boss. Um, this is Master Kong. I'm going to check if I can do Master Kong's thing right now, though. Because I'd like to get that. Oh god, I forgot I have to pick. Uh, I picked art as an option. Oh. <laughs> I'm assuming you're not. Uh, you're, you're, you don't, you don't like art that much or you're not great at it. I'm assuming, considering you say, oh god. <laughs> uh... The fish. Yep. Master says you're a man in black. Hmm. Let's do this then. Right mango. Right mango. Yes, I totally cannot say mango. Uh, the other option for crap, so I had to pick art. Yes. Uh, the major I chose is computers. Ah. Adults is the last one. And that's. You get taught the move I use a lot. <laughs> um, silver run buttons! Handy. 
I want a piece of red velvet cake. The next one will be the last. Come fight me at the ranch with the great view. Only one person is left. Okay. <laughs> And the last person is Adol, obviously, but like you may not remember considering it's been like, what, three? Three weeks? Oh god, I really hope I finish this game before like... Um... I think... I could probably figure it out if I ask certain questions, but I kinda can't because TOS. But like, because we call it ninth grade. Um, run. Yeah, it's ninth grade, so. Ba, 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 ba. Wait, I remember that whatever, those aren't important items. Pile of heavy gravel blocks your way. I'm in 13. Um I am out of school. <laughs> but it would be very high for me, uh, if I was still in uni. Because I was a third year university student. Uh, I would have just finished my fourth year and may have been going on for my fifth year because I had to reduce course load. Uh, after sending Little Pero, everyone of Castaway Village arrived to help. Yeah, that's college. That's college. <laughs> oh boy. Very confusing. I'm guessing your uh, system is probably different compared to ours. Um... Looks like we're all set here, which is 10th grade, 11, not 10th grade, 12th grade. We start college young here. Uh, um, gotta say, it feels like we become one big happy family almost overnight. Um, it's a great thing to see. <laughs> the bond we share is quite strong indeed. Hard to believe there were so few of us at first. The gravel looks here, but here is more compact than it looks. Good thing I brought this heavy duty shovel for just the, such an occasion. Let's take it for a spin. I very much want a piece of velvet cake, and I'm surprised my dog doesn't want it, but I think my dog is hot. My dog is definitely hot. It's very hot in my room. Um, this will be excellent training. Uh, it's gonna be tough if. Uh, any speedy primordials show up. I think Rakoda and Raja should keep, uh, Raya should keep an eye out for any. So, I keep trying to say Raja because, uh, obviously in our country, it's, it's Jay, but he is obviously from a, a Germanic country, um, because in German, uh, J's are wise. <laughs> We, J's are wise. Yeah, we also don't have, we don't have middle school either in Canada. Um, no problem. Leave it to us. But yeah. If you know anyone that's German and they have, uh, a, a German kind of name and there's a J in it, it's, you can ask if it's a Y. If it's supposed to sound like a Y. Because it might. <laughs> uh... Yeah, we have primary school, high school, um, no middle school gang. <laughs> yeah, we have primary school, um, well technically we call it elementary school, but there, it's also sometimes called primary school, um, high school, and then, uh, post-secondary, which is university and college. If anyone gets thirsty, let me know. I, I keep getting distracted in the middle of a talking segment. Uh, I have a great flash sale on fruit juice while supplies last. <laughs> so many people, we should finish this in about two hours. Then we'll finish around noon, just in time for lunch. Everyone's so helpful. We also have six form. 
I don't know what sixth form is, but that literally just made me think of something completely different. Um, dang, I kind of feel like that considering my high school was 11, uh, 7th to 12th grade, so it was all together. Mine was, uh, JK, JK, SK kindergarten to 8th grade, and then it's 9th to 10th. No, 9th to 12th. Not 10th. That would only be two years. That would be stupid to have a school for that. Um... Like, just an entire school, just for that. Uh, it looks like I can't count, though I was printing pieces in 8 seconds, and only doing 7, which completely messes up the math. Yeah. Um, everything's so helpful. Let's keep up the teamwork! <laughs> just leave it to me. Alright, everyone. Time to get to work. And reception to six, uh, year six. And the high school is 11, seven, uh, seven to 11. Uh, and so the castaways began clearing the densely packed pile of heavy gravel. With the wind and rain helping to loosen the pile, they managed to clear it in no time flash. Apparently it rained. How much school is K to six? Middle school is 7 to 8, and high school is 9 to 12. Our schools were elementary, kindergarten, uh, fifth. middle school, 8 to 6. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. I'm 9 to 10. Okay. Oh, apparently I was standing on the gravel when I uh, executed the order, so I kind of fell. Um, that's. We also have. Yeah, we have nursery school too, uh, for the kids, uh, but it was optional. Some people could go to nursery schools, others wanted to go to nursery schools. I went to nursery school because my parents couldn't trust me alone at the house. Come on. Um, yeah. <laughs> We have pre-K. We also have preschool and elementary school. Um, so I don't know why. <laughs> Mine was mainly that my parents, we didn't have a babysitter to watch me in the day, and they couldn't really trust me alone. <laughs> uh, Come on. Same as Astros. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I think both my parents were working or something. School systems Come are on. weird. Yeah. Oh god, don't fall off. Pay attention. Pay attention, Come Arkin. On. Treasure chest. Up we go! Woo! <laughs> I didn't freeze you. Uh, I went to daycare for a few months. Then went under four. Uh, when I was under four, I did preschool. Uh, just started. Okay, yeah. We're gonna fight a boss, by the way. Um, hold on, I wanna check something. Uh, reputation is almost at 200. That's actually really good. I just gotta do a couple things. Uh, this boss fight, I might actually have to save in front of. Because there's a 50-50 chance that I might actually fail this. Because it is actually a difficult boss fight. Even at my high levels, by the way. I am just ignoring all damage. And just running. Um, if I remember correctly, it's like level 70. So... Come on. 
Okay. Uh, we did have some. Okay, I can talk about the pineapple. Do you want to know about the pineapple? <laughs> A treasure chest. I have to talk about it before the boss fight. Sure. Kind of do now. Okay. So, um, the reason why I thought about it with, uh, the, hold on, I gotta pause because they'll talk. Uh, so, in, so we didn't have anything that's kind of like, I think we're gonna sleep now, it's a bit early, night human, um, so we didn't have VHSs or anything that teach us the alphabet, uh, English alphabet, but when you're in French class, um, certain French teachers will bring out the the VHS to teach you uh, the VHS to teach you French. Um, they're VHS videos that will teach you how to say French. And there's a particular VHS set that has the pineapple, a talking pineapple with eyes and a mouth, and they will speak French to you. Um, it somewhat hot some uh, Canadian C Canadians uh, <laughs> three Canadians nightmares is. A legit pineapple. I honestly really wish I was streaming on the computer right now to show you what the pineapple freaking looks like. Hold on, give me a minute because I'm going to search up the freaking pineapple. Apple, Canada, French, videos, VHS. Because I need to show you the, the, the horrors of the pineapple. Yep, there's there's damn pineapple. Uh. Oh there there it is. That sounds horrifying. You got a pineapple. This is just for French. This is literally for French. Just for French cast. Um Give me a moment. Just squeeze on us. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. Yes, we had a pineapple. Um, give me a moment. Uh, come on. Respond to me, computer. Don't be a slow ass. 
Give me gifts. Ranch. Pineapple. Pineapple. There it is. There you go. There you go. Enjoy the pineapple. Enjoy the horrors. <laughs> you. That is just like one of the things. This is just one of the many parts of videos. But this is the pineapple. Um, yeah. <laughs> I had that. Uh, I have a pen. I have an apple. Uh, I have an apple pen. I hate that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, you got to see those, um, if you were in certain French classes, certain teachers would use that. Um, yeah, they were interesting. Yeah, <laughs> that's all I can say. Okay, we're gonna fight this. I should have destroyed the orb, because everything's gonna respawn. By the way, I fought this while I was in like the level 50s. God damn it. I fought this monster when I was in level 50s. I don't know how the heck I won my first attempt uh, when fighting this thing uh, originally. But I managed to beat it. Oh wait, it's level 80. I was very low level when I was fighting this thing. Like, I'm in 90s now. So it's not nearly as bad. God damn it. It's still really hard. Donna has died. Oh fuck. I, uh, I, I have made a grievous, uh, miss error. Miss, miscalculation. God damn it. Shit. Ow. Go. Down. This is not good. I'm gonna need some. Okay. What has max? What has a lot? Um. I could honestly use this, but I'm gonna save that. Just eat the berries. Uh, cause Adol is definitely 100% the strongest out of every single person here. So, so I can't lose that all. <laughs> Oh god, uh, uh, health status, no, uh, increase XP game, I'll do that near the end. Uh, health regen. Thank god for the, the freaking. Ow, I forgot about that move. Yeah. 
The health regen's actually gonna run out before... Oh, fuck. I forgot about that. Yeah, health regen is probably actually gonna run out before... We're gonna kill it. So that's good. Ow. May not be a good thing, considering how bad I'm doing on this fight. Oh god. I got hit by every single one of those. Oh god. Come on. There we go. I actually waited for health regen to go. Cause I want XP game up. Oh, damn it. Come on. Like, some of these hits are one hit kills. Oh, God. Got it. Only 200 health. <laughs> 200 health and we beat it. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly died again. Like I said, actually a very difficult boss fight. <laughs> and we have one other one. These are 100% optional bosses, by the way. This one and one other. Um, the last one, the other one I beat by chance. Uh, come on. Yes! <laughs> um, here's one. Dad joke, here's one. What do you call a guy lying on your doorstep? Matt. I gotta check the board. Board? Okay. Wait, I didn't get any ore. Aren't I supposed to get ore in that dungeon? Did I miss chests? I 100% missed a chest if I didn't get a freaking if I didn't get ore. Because you're supposed to get ore. Um. Show me the map. I want to see treasure chests. Uh, where am I supposed to get the pale ore? Frick! I need pale ore. No, not pale ore. I need some ore calcum. And uh, this is the problem. Um, I went through this dungeon because I have that. Uh, I haven't done this. Let's go this way. But I don't think that has ore calcum. I need to have Kathleen's thing full. I have to start searching up things. Yeah, I can't remember where to get the pure, pure ore calcum. I thought it was in the tower. Apparently I was incorrect. I was on Norway again. sense. <laughs> I was just like, wait, there's 49 treasures in the whole area. What? And then I looked at this horror sanctuary. That makes sense. Two. Baja Taylor. Let me see Baja Tower. Uh, I don't think there's going to be chests there for that one. I'm sure that had four calcum in it, though. Hmm. 
this damn treasure chest. There's a treasure chest here that took me forever to find. I don't remember if I ever found it. As you can see, I've skipped many, many things. Damn it! I gotta grab my phone. I have to actually sit up now. <laughs> job. Not when the ultimate armor is on the line. I also need to know uh, before I start whether this armor is for a man or a woman. So who's going to be Adol? Am I making the armor for a man or a woman? Woman. Because I already have most sets for the man so I'm just getting another for the woman. We are a Kogum. I'll get right on it. What do you do when you have Max or Kelpum? All the weapons for it. It's finally finished. The armor is smith from scratch using pure arca. Here, it's yours now. I'm pretty sure Don yeah, Don is definitely wearing it. I don't think I'm pretty sure Hummel's also wearing it. That's a cool name. It's a reference to Grethus Grethus. Grecian mythology since we're on the Isle of Saren after and all. Took a lot of effort, but great armor she needs a great aid, you know. With this, I feel like my skills uh, is a little closer to my grandfather's now. I might have told you this, but uh, my last name is Lambert. My family is known as a master blacksmith who make weapons for the Roman Emperor himself. And my grandfather was the most skilled in the whole family. My parents died when I was young, so he ended up raising me and became becoming my role model. Even in my earliest memories, I s I'm still gripping a hammer. It was a very tough life to be sure, but he ended up uh, accepting me as his successor. Even so, no matter how many swords I smith, I always felt like there was something missing. I couldn't figure out what it was. I just knew it. I just knew it bugged the hell out of me. Only now, having a make, uh, having smith or Kalkamore, do I realize what was missing? The reason why I, I'll never be like my grandfather. All my life, I've been I've just been mimicking mimicking his techniques. It's obvious in hindsight, but I was missing something successful. I never answered the question, what do I want to do? Oh, thanks, Dan. Thanks for subscribing for t for three months of Tier 2. Thank you for thank you for the link. Thank you for the link. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> From now on, I'm going to work hard to find the answer to that question. <laughs> that being said, I think I'm on the cusp of finding it. I'll support you all the way. The big bully. Yeah, big bully. You're big bully. Hmm. 
Thank you. I'm genuinely happy to hear that. <laughs> I didn't mean to keep you here this long. Anyways, if you bring the materials, I can make as many sets of armors as you need. Come see me when you find more Kelton. Thing. Hey Al, got a got a minute? She just should be starting soon. Gotta hand it to you at all. Your swordsmanship has come a long way since you washed up on this island. Cheesy has started streaming. I'm just getting warmed up. Yes, huh. I see. The only thing more impressive than your swordsmanship are your aspirations. I keep asking myself, what do I want to do so I can one day step out of my grandfather's shadow? I told you earlier that I didn't have an answer yet, but after watching you, I think I finally figured it out. I want to forge weapons for people like you, Adol. People who cut paths of hope for us all. That's the passion I feel within me. Looking back, I think I've had that passion my whole life. I know it sounds really simple. But my experiences on this journey have helped you understand what that passion actually means. I'll keep learning for you. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Don't Just hearing you video. say that is the best encouragement I could receive. Someday I will make a name for myself as a Lambert on my own terms. At last, I understand. I can carry out my own will. That's what my grandfather wanted from me. Knowing that at all, I want you to do something for me. Someday, perhaps during your next adventure. If you happen to find yourself in wrong, I want you to visit the Lambert Forge. I'll personally forge the sword that best represents the man you've become. I'm looking forward to that day. As do I. Until then, I promise to work hard and become an even better blacksmith than I am now. Alright. We didn't really get far in the story. All we did is finish this whole Donna thing. It's just terrible. I need to... There we go. Um, I got it re. Oh. Oh. We'll do this and then, and then we're talking to the kid. We keep getting these distracted, to be fair. That is true. Excuse me, Adol. Would you like to have some tea with us? <clears throat> After this. How does it taste? Lakota taught me how to make it. Good. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? Oh, that's a relief. Good job, darling. I know you delivered the baby safe and sound, but you should still rest until you're fully recovered. You're already taking care of the baby. Let me handle everything else. <laughs> Thank you. But I'm actually feeling much better these days. Oh, my ring? Ed gave it to me the other night, beneath the beautiful light of the twin moons. <laughs> I was reminded of the night that we first met, so it just seemed like the perfect time to give it to her. A perfect timing. <laughs> yes, it was such a special moment. By the way, I heard that you found the ruby for this ring, Adol. Thank you very much. <laughs> Luke seems happy too. I can't believe how much you've done for us, Adol. If it wasn't for you, the three of us wouldn't even be here right now. I can't thank you enough. Yeah, you really are our hero. If we ever get off this island, and you happen to be in Greek, please, pay us a visit whenever you have time. I'll prepare you the best set of adventuring gear. 
how big our little one will be by then. I hope we meet again someday. for the 200 bits. Yes, a nice start stream. Nice and short. We're gonna go raid cheesy. Um, what I really wish is that I had a pineapple emote because I would love to share the glory of the pineapple with everyone. <laughs> but we'll just raid cheesy. Yes, yes. <laughs> I have I have a new idea, but nonetheless. Um, <laughs> we all gonna be cursed. Yes. <laughs> well, anyways, uh, we're gonna read cheesy. If I can freaking spell. There we go. He hasn't started yet, but he's he's in his new setup. But we go to cheesy. Why did the raid stop? I didn't- what? Bad. Bad Twitch. Bad. Bad Twitch. I can't talk at chat. We have a Discord. We have YouTubes. Uh, YouTube has the VODs. I can't close this to send the link, but we're all done. Go to Cheesy and go bother the boy. See you later. Bye, guys. Did it rain Cheesy? Or is my computer fucked? Okay.